Hi, and welcome to the Clarity Managing Tasks in the Grid Layout video. I'm Katherine Ellis, a Product Manager with Clarity. In this video, I will help you understand how you use this layout to quickly analyze and edit tasks by grouping them logically. I will also show you how you can use the Charts functionality to visually analyze tasks and make quick decisions. It's critical to remember that the Tasks module is a generic module and is available across various investment types in Clarity. In Clarity 15.8, you can create tasks for projects and custom investments. While we will demonstrate tasks in the context of projects in this video, remember that the concepts covered here can be applied for both projects and custom investments. Let us log into Clarity, open Projects, and navigate to the Tasks module. We are currently in the Timeline layout. Let's navigate to the Grid layout. You can see the name, start, and finish dates, status, and owner for each task. Let's add ETC and duration to the grid so that the project managers have relevant details for the tasks. Let's add a new task and give it a name. The start and finish dates, ETC, and duration of the task are automatically populated. If you want to edit additional details associated with tasks, you can either add rows to the grid or use the Details panel. Let's select the new task we just added and open the Details panel. Let's configure the Details tab to include additional fields such as Critical, Investment Manager, Phase Name, and Priority. Because this task spans across a couple of weeks, let's add a couple of to-do items that will help the developer understand the deliverables. We can now assign the task to the developer and then use the Links tab to add links to relevant standards and guidelines. Finally, let's inform the developer that we are assigning this task to them. Now that we have added new tasks, we are ready to analyze the current status of the project. Let's group the tasks by status to look at the total duration for tasks that have not yet started. Because the project managers know the end date of the project, they will quickly be able to assess the risk for the project. Let's ungroup the tasks and click the Status column to sort the tasks by status. Let's select all the tasks that have not started and create a chart to quickly figure out which tasks need the highest focus. In this case, we can see that the unit and performance testing needs the greatest attention. Finally, let's use the filter option to identify all tasks that have started but have more than 40 hours of work to be completed. You have now identified a set of tasks that can be considered as risks for the completion of the project. Let's create a pick list to help you visually identify the tasks in the grid. Let's include three categories. The first column category includes the tasks with no risks. The second category includes tasks with active risks. The third category will have tasks where the risks have been mitigated. Let's assign appropriate colors to each category. We can now add the Risks pick list to the grid so that you can sort and group tasks based on risks. Let's save this view and call it Project Tasks with Risks. You and the project team can use this view for managing this investment. I'm sure you now understand how to create and edit tasks in the grid layout. 
Thank you for watching this video. For more information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.